The brand new Onslaught mode added with Into the Light is arguably one of the best and most enjoyable modes we have ever seen within Destiny 2. And with it being a blast to do, there are tons of rewards awaiting you upon completion. Getting double loot for completing Legend is a great choice to really chase down those roles you want. And here are five builds that you can utilize to help you do so. Keep in mind that there are tons of great builds in the game and what may work for me might not work for you. With that being said, Let's dive in. The Void Hunter is one of my favorites in the game, and to be completely honest, I somehow forgot that Orpheus rigs are a godlike exotic, so that's what we're using for this. You can quite literally chain supers over and over again with ease, letting you and your team farm adds for easier waves and do more damage in those boss fights. Grab the Deadfall Tether in the subclass with Marksman Dodge, Snare Bomb, Vortex Grenades. Vanishing Step and Stylish Executioner for your aspects, and then we're gonna bring in Remnants, Instability, Expulsion, and starvation for our fragments. I highly, highly, highly recommend grabbing 100 resilience. If you don't, you're kind of just throwing, but then focus on mobility and discipline to pair alongside it. For weapons, I really like using Riptide for stunning those overload champions and even unstops. Sunshot is also great for the unstop champions. And then you have a Void LMG for those add clear waves and then a rocket launcher for boss damage. For the mods, I always throw on a heavy ammo finder to be a great teammate and help them get ammo. And then I throw on a harmonic siphon, pairing in bolstering detonation, momentum transfer, and firepower for the gauntlets. Resistances for whatever the threat is that week for the challenge. And then weapon surges. I like to have void here, but you could also throw on solar if you're using a rocket or a different LMG. Bomber, powerful attraction, and a reaper on the class item. One artifact mod that I highly recommend grabbing is going to be Flint Striker so you can get Radiant from Solar Precision Hits with your Sunshot, and then that way you can stun anti-barrier champions with other weapons. For number two on this list, I mean, come on, is there really an explanation needed for this one? Syntheseps on Strand Titan. It provides healing, movement, damage, big green balls everywhere. You name it, this has it. Blade Fury, whatever barricade, whatever lift, Frenzy Blade Grapple for the grenade into the fray and banner of war for your aspects and then we're going to bring along propagation fury transmutation and generation for the fragments for stats again go tier 10 rezil high discipline high strength for the mods a siphon mod hands on heavy handed impact induction and then a melee kickstart resistance mods for the threat invigoration recuperation absolution outreach powerful attraction and then a reaper for weapons a one two punch shotgun sunshot and then an lmg and rocket for your heavy warlocks the next two builds are for you the osmio mancy glove stasis warlock is a phenomenal build to really keep those ads in check allow tons of freezing and slowing and the ability to keep away enemies from the ADU. This really helped me out a ton in my first completion of Legend Onslaught, so definitely try this one out. Winter's Wrath, Healing Rift, Penumbral Blast, Cold Snap Grenades for our abilities, and then we're going to go with Ice Flare Bolts and Bleak Watcher for the aspects. Bonds, Fissures, Refraction, and Chains are going to be the fragments to pair along. For stats, I highly recommend going with High Rezil as always, then High Recovery and High Discipline. For weapons, Riptide, Sunshot, a stasis lmg or stasis rocket or whatever lmg and rocket that you choose to use works great here sunshot and riptide are great for your top two slots they're going to be phenomenal for getting stuns on champions as well as dealing a lot of damage as sunshot is one of the best in the game for it looking at the mods here harmonic siphon dynamo powerful friends momentum transfer bolstering detonation firepower resistances for the threat absolution recuperation better already for survivability two bombers and a reaper on the class item well of radiance is well really really strong obviously and having a super that can give you the ability to just chunk damage on bosses or to stay alive and get rid of random tormentors or demolitionists is always a good option. Phoenix Protocol giving you that and the ability to get your well back really quick is going to be a great build to add into your team comps. Well of Radiance for the super, Healing Rift, Celestial Fire, Fusion Grenades, Icarus Stash, and Touch of Flame for the aspects, and then we're going to bring alongside Char, Mercy, Searing, and Ashes. For stats, resilience, recovery, discipline are what you should be going for here. Weapons are going to be pretty much the same. Riptide, Sunshot are great options here, but again, use whatever you want, really. And then rockets and LMGs are great for bosses and add clear. For mods, harmonic siphon, heavy ammo finder, ashes to assets on the helmet, firepower, momentum transfer, fastball on the gauntlets, resistances for the threat, a solar weapon surge, a recuperation, and a better already. Bomber, outreach, and then a reaper on the class item. 
The Solar Hunter paired with Celestial Nighthawk allows you to chunk some of the biggest bosses in Onslaught, so you know we had to go with this one here. Marksman Golden Gun, Gambler's Dodge, Knife Trick, Healing Grenade. Our aspects are going to be on your mark and knock them down, with our fragments being Mercy, Empyrean, Benevolence, Solace, and Torches. For stats here, High Resilience, High Mobility, High Discipline, or Recovery will be great options here. For weapons, Sunshot and Riptide work great here, but you could also, once it drops, get a Luna's Howl with Heal Clip and whatever you want in the fourth column, and that will be great to proc Ember of Benevolence. Heal Clip weapons work great with Benevolence. LMG or Rocket for the Heavy here, and for the mods, we're going to go with Hands On, Heavy Ammo Finder for the Helmet, Heavy Handed for the Gauntlets alongside Focusing Strike, Resistances for the Threat, Two Solar Surges for the Legs, and then Outreach Bomber and Reaper, or you could throw on a Time Dilation for the class item. Now, before you run to the comments and yell at me for missing your favorite build, listen, these are just what I believe to be some of the best to use and have worked really well for me and my squads. I can't help that your teammate uses this and runs into the middle of a pack of Cursed Thrall, okay? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscription. It helps me out a ton. Be sure to actually go to the comments and tell me if there's a build I missed and why you think it's great. Also, be sure to go check out my TikTok and Twitch for some more of my content if you don't want to miss out on any. Thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all again very soon. Peace.